this weekend. Get in touch, use the hashtag PLFans. Guys, Derby weekend, oh, big games. What are you guys looking forward to the most? Like, what games are you looking, what games excite you? I mean, I personally, I know there is the Manchester derby this weekend, but I think for me, I'm most looking forward to the North London derby. Really? I think Because Arsenal top, and if Arsenal win, they extend their lead at the top over Spurs. Mm. Um, but if Spurs win, they can go above Arsenal. Mm. So it's probably going to end up in a draw and no one moves. But I'm just really <laughs> looking forward to... I don't know, I just really... We, you know, we saw how good that was back end of last season and how much was riding on it. So Arsenal are going to want revenge, perhaps. They're going to need revenge. I, I think they're, they're, they're finely poised, actually. Normally their derbies but one team's dominating yeah. at the moment yeah, at yeah, least yeah, on true. form but I think we go into both of these two at least we'll, we'll come back to Nottingham Forest and, and Leicester City uh, both of these games Andrew they're, they're, it could go either way that's the thing it's like it's interesting because Arsenal are really on form and Arsenal are playing really well but I think Tottenham are just that front three yeah, when they get flying and the way I think they will set up with the way you say like the way United set up against Arsenal and the Son and Kane on the counter, it could be dead. But it could be a long Does day. And the thing is, a bit of a hammer blow uh, to Arsenal's campaign. They did so well yeah, yeah, yeah. for most of the season. And played and well then, in that game. And then as they got to the final <laughs> furlong, uh, Tottenham, effectively that was the win that got Tottenham into yeah. Europe yeah. or into yeah, yeah, the Champions yeah. League spots. For sure. And uh, an Arsenal not. Convincing win. Let, let's have a look at it. Look, here you go. Harry yeah, Kane. Harry Kane. Kane. We, we, like, Bully and Arsenal. We can't forget he is now the top, prop, top scorer in North London derbies in the Premier yeah. League. He always scores in this mm. fixture. Every and he's all he's involved in absolutely everything, Harry Kane. So I wouldn't be surprised if he found the back of the net. I don't think this is going to be nil-nil. Let's be honest. I think there's always goals in this fixture as well. But especially after that game, I mentioned revenge earlier. Do you think we saw Mikel Arteta? You know, we've seen in um, the documentary where he brings back certain tweets that, that that other players have made when they've played against Arsenal. Do you think? How much do you think he's going to be looking back at that fixture and using that? to his advantage for this game. It has to, he has to. Because when you see what they were just doing to them there, <laughs> that was just bullying. That was just so, I might report that, <laughs> what I just saw. So I think he needs to use that so they can get in their heads like. And the thing about Arsenal, they play so well, but you don't want it to be a thing where they lose to all the big teams. And they play well, because they played well against you know Man United I mean? and lost. Yeah, that's what I mean. You yeah. don't want it to be a thing, they're doing well, they play well against the big teams, but they lose. So I think he's going to come and make a statement. It's at home Arsenal, as well. And, think, like, they, normally, they normally win at home. Yeah, I, I, well, in the last uh, five North London derbies, Sorry, I think yeah. uh, the home team have taken well, all three yeah, points. Yeah. So that will be a bearing, but mm. what a coup it would be for Tottenham if they can go away to the Emirates and, and get all three points. I wouldn't bet against Antonio Conte as well. Like you said there, Andrew, to me, Spurs are going into this game exactly the same way that Man United went into that game with Arsenal. And with Son, Kane and Kulisevsky's now out, but Richarlison, that's three really lightning quick players that are so good on the counter-attack. Mm. How well Saliba plays against Harry Kane could determine the outcome of this yeah. North London derby. I mean, Arsenal are no slouches at the back either. Um, yeah. You know, they've got quick so centre-ups, yeah. Gabriel's quick, you know, the full-backs are quick. Um, but the Manchester cool. derby, again, that throws up a, another amazing uh, matchup because we've got one of the shortest centre-halves in Premier League history against, against one of the monster. most <laughs> prolific <laughs> centre-forwards in Premier League history, at least over the amount of games we've played so far. However, the last time they faced each other in the Bundesliga, Martinez came out on top. Mm. Premier League's a, a, a whole a different cap. game. Yeah, it's a different and game. And yeah, most yeah, yeah, importantly, yeah. Haaland is just that little bit more experienced. He's just, he's just, he scores in every single game. Haaland's Even scary. Premier just League, Champions real. League, international. He is, he just hasn't even stopped. And I, I, I don't worry for Martinez because he's come up against him before and he came out on top, like you said, Jay, in that game. However, the form that City are in, they're just devastating at the moment. But. Stopping Erling Haaland, Andrew, I think you stop the source. If you stop the source to Erling, to Erling Haaland, you stop him because he's not one of those players that creates all the goals on his own. But that's the, that's the and danger. That's the hard part, yeah. It's because you can stop him for 90 minutes. 91st minute, he can tap a goal in it. Yeah, but the source, if you stop, I know it's easier said than done, but stopping Cancelo, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. that's, that's where you well, stop. You have to stop it's it's not, yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> they should just name three worldy players. <laughs> like, yeah, stop them, <laughs> guys, be, and it's calm. But you've got to be. If you stop Cancelo, do you can, can yeah. you stop Kim, you know, KDB? Every player's got to have their role, and if they do their job, then it's possible. Dude, here's a news flash, Liv. Uh, there are Premier League players that wake up in a cold sweat about <laughs> stopping <laughs> Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah, happen it's easy. It's easier said than done. Do you know, do you know what I love about games like this? Because even though City are on form and Man United are on form now, and they had a slow start, none of that matters when it's a derby. 
It's like all of your form goes, all of the yeah. season goes. It's the game on its own, and I can see, I can see United doing their thing as well. Really? I can, can see them doing their thing. Is that thing, your head bro? or heart speaking there? I don't know. I don't think it's that's, your head. I, as a neutral, that's my heart. That's so what I you want. want to I want a good game. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, let's go and catch up uh, with Io now in North London, uh, and we need to apologise at this stage, and I'll tell you for why. It's going to get a little. Arsenal centric for a few <laughs> moments and I Io being a big Arsenal fan that's fair to say isn't it where are you and who are you going to be speaking to on honestly yeah I'm at such an iconic location this is the Arsenal supporters club and if you're ever walking down to the Emirates to, to watch the football via Finsley Parkway you will most likely walk past this building I mean this place is absolutely stunning if you look at all the walls absolutely glistening with pictures past and present of Arsenal the old Highbury the Emirates you can see Nicolas Pepe there you're glancing past and some all the other amazing players and I'm joined by two gooners ahead of this North London derby and I've got to say it's, a, it's quite an evenly poised North London derby we've got Barry, he's the secretary here at the Arsenal uh, f uh, Fans Club, um, Supporters Club. And also, we've got Annabelle, who's a writer for the Gooners fanzine as well. Uh, let's start with you, Barry. Uh, this is a massive game, isn't it? Got to say, Spurs do have bragging rights based on the fact that they pipped us to the post uh, to get into Europe. But at the Emirates, we've got a great record against them. We have. We're going to do it. Definitely going to do it tomorrow. The team are up for it. The fans are up for it. It's good night, Tottenham. <laughs> I love that fighting talk already. Uh, let, let's come to you. I mean, this is this is a massive match, and I've got to say, like, it's probably the first time in, in many years where you see both teams at the top of their game. And I think if Tottenham end up beating Arsenal, they'll go top of the league for the first time. The North London clubs have ever traded places for that. Yeah, but that's not going to happen realistically, is it? I think for the first time, our team are going to be really, really up for it. I don't think emotions are going to come into it as much as they did even though there's not much on the line like there was when we played at um, the Tottenham Stadium at the end of last season, we all know how disappointing that was. I do think that the players are ready. I think having a lot of players rested has been a really encouraging sign. And also just the mentality is stronger. We've got new players now who know how to turn up in big games. I think it's going to be a great game and hopefully a good result. Yeah, we talk about big players. Uh, I was reading an article earlier about someone like Granit Xhaka, a, a player that actually right at the beginning fans weren't sure about him. I, I'll put my hand up and say I wasn't quite sure about him. Now becoming a, a, quite a leader in the team and a pivotal part in what Arteta's trying to do at Arsenal. Yeah, I, I wasn't a fan of uh, Granit, but uh, he's the rock at the moment. We can't do without him, basically, I'm sad to say, but that's it. <laughs> mm, for sure. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Adam, let's come to you. Uh, Derby Day, big one. I know it's a bit of a family affair for you as well, because uh, I know your, your family share a, a season ticket. What, what kind of rituals do you have? And who, who, who gets dibs and who gets a ticket for the day? Do you know what? My dad has become so nervous. I think for the last couple of years, he hasn't cared at all because there's not been much on the line. Whereas now, it's, yeah, it's bragging rights who gets to go. So I'm actually going on my own tomorrow. But I'm not worried about it. I think there's such a family atmosphere now. Everybody is so banded together. They're behind the team that I think it doesn't matter. Like, as long as you're with the supporters, you know, you're cheering the team on, it's just going to be, like, the best, yeah. best experience. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, uh, Barry, this place... Is somewhere I, I always walk past. I've never actually been in. This is my first time. So this is a, a bit of a dream come true as, a, as an Arsenal fan. What is it like on Derby Day? Because I've walked past it and it looks like people are literally spilling <laughs> out. No one can barely get in it. Well, you can't move in here on a match day, especially a Derby Day. Tomorrow is going to be manic, absolutely manic. They will be out on the street drinking. Uh, just get, got to get the result, basically. And now after the game, <laughs> you won't be able to get in here. <laughs> Well, let's hope we get a win, or Arsenal get a win, in, in that sense. And for you, uh, Annabelle, how do you think it's going to go tomorrow? It is quite tight. I know we were talking about, it, you know, we might win, Arsenal might win, whatever. We're doing that as fans of the game. But this is a massive one for both teams, and it's a real credential-proving match. For me, it's how the first 20, 25 minutes of the game go. I mean, this season, we've been really good. We've come out firing on all cylinders at the start of each match. You know, we've got some really good early goals that have kind of cemented our position in the game. It depends whether we can make any of it. We know that Conte is going to come out. He's going to concede a lot of possession. He's going to let us have a lot of the ball. But are we going to do anything with it? I think if we can get an early lead, you know, the fans are going to be even more behind the team. The team are going to be able to pass more confidently, try things that are a bit tricky. If that goes well, we've won that tactical war. But it really depends how that game starts. And that's what I'm really nervous about. I mean, we're all nervous when we go into the start of a game. But... 
are the team going to come out well and are we going to play well? That is my like the issue that I'm most scared about. Uh, it's, it's, it's a thing on the lips of many Arsenal fans. Well, while we're talking about the